it's a terrible thing to have to realize that you're going to have to get over this hump because these forces are stronger than you are. But Neptune is fantastic when you turn it right. Um, to, we have to go through it step by step by step by step. And um, it's interesting that it, that you that you say that. Um, don't say his name. Don't say his name. Well, anyway, let's just go through a bit of history. Um, there are the names of many different gods. My god, my god is stronger than your god because in some kind of discourse far away and a few between um, is the name of their god. So if I had known that it was your actual professional opinion that either you call me back at this phone number or shoot me an email. Now, who, who exactly is that? When you ask him who he is, he's probably not going to be able to answer. So, um, this, this is my God. He's stronger than yours. And they, they struggle with this. And they struggle and struggle and struggle. That's the, the character of them there. The character of Neptune is long lost places and strange things and, and strange people and, and um, strange forces. You know, running along the beach. Running along the beach, uh, you know, not, not on a Saturday afternoon, but maybe, you know, on a Sunday and it's like 20 degrees and you're walking down the beach. For no particular reason. Um, but let them cast the first stone. Honestly. You learn things about yourself you didn't know. <laughs> so, if Neptune is about coming, come, I'm going to come. You heard me say that in some of the um, videos, but um, namely, um, Neptune has this far-reaching power, this far-reaching power that, that can't really be explained very well. What is this power? So, I've got on a disguise. Um, it is my professional opinion, <laughs> but this never stops. <laughs> They never quit. Somebody said something wrong. It made me angry. I don't feel good about it. Someone keeps poking me in my ear or so on and so on and so on. Well, if you want to continue with Mr. Neptune, you're going to have to buy one. And what this does is. Um, You can see here that um, there's a color in there. And depending on what this color is, we're going to have to clean this up. Clean this up. How are we going to do that? Well, I like to say that, you know, it's a toast. Yeah, we're toasting somebody. If you notice really quickly. Somebody doesn't like putting their drinks there. Somebody doesn't like that. Just, just, and, and or this is gross, or, or, or they're brown, and, and, or, hey, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, the thought, this, the mere thought of doing that. Is Jewish. 
So, do you want to have a dialogue about being Jewish? You can talk to one another and continue this dialogue. <laughs> you can probably do it with me because I have a Yule log. You know, you have some smoke and you keep smoke, 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 and then <laughs> burn the Yule log out of <laughs> Besides lighting the manure, sometimes it's very important to identify your own house. Like right now, um, I will identify my house because Neptune is not important. So to do that, you have to go to Venus. With the sun that we had today, which was there, Okay, now I have it. It took that long to get all of that connected. Now that it's connected, all you have to do is simply remember the star chart, which is da, 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 Prince William, uh, Prince Harry's previous girlfriend. For, just for example, Prince Harry, previous girlfriend. It's called Lighting the Menorah, as we previously discussed in previous video. Oh, well, here she is. Okay. So, this is a, a whole lot of rubber ducks. You know, I don't know why they let them roam free, but he uh, may or may not have another problem there as well, but they uh, have to remember something. He lives there. He lives there. Who lives there? Neptune. Neptune. And you'll find out why Neptune was so important to the Romans. Or it's still important now. And for that we have to go to Egypt. And discover why. Why they are gone. But first. I need to light this cigarette. It won't light on its own. And it's a terrible, terrible time. You're going to have to fight this thing. And fight it, and fight it, and fight it, and fight it. You know who it is? It's the devil. So, uh, the Egyptians had put, uh, made a little signature. They used with, with, um, uh, Devils, they'd come into contact. But they are God. <laughs> it's unbelievable how accurate they may be. But at some point, you're going to have to ask yourself, wait a minute, if I could analyze myself, what would it be? Would it be the bird God looking down at you um, from heaven? And you can see the little dot under the island there's little dot ways to see what's going on there um, but you have to remember also that you are this bird you are this this very important person and throughout the ages this is it's 3,000 years old but this chart is just very easy to read um it's called um, the weighing of the heart boy is your heart heavy as mine i don't really know <sighs> and listen try to, to examine this but it's no big deal you know we can move on um it's no big deal unless you can master this first Okay, so the other night the moon was up there, you know, about right about there, and I did the wash, and it's been, it's been, uh, three moons.
That's the street. <laughs> it's been about three months since uh, August. So it's no, it's now February. Three months since August. Well, so if I was the devil, where would I get the devil from? Yeah, but you can read the chart and find out what's going Well, they raised the toast. I didn't like that. I just thought this is bad. I think, I think you're, an, I'm angry. And, and you don't realize, you know, like somebody's already mastered this. You know, uh, if you look kind of down at the camera like this, you can see the dark part of upon dark part of my eye then that's what I'm what we're looking for <laughs> you know ha 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 very funny you know but um uh, pull one of those down it makes a noise it makes a snapping noise okay then you have to look at the noise with your cell reader after you examine that with the, the different patterns of the shell, see how there's a different pattern? You think about a tortoise shell. The tortoise shell has a different uh, pattern all across it. And its characteristics um, associated with those patterns are the same thing that you're looking for uh, here, or uh, there, rather. Uh, there, is you're looking for there. <laughs> And, um, so, now that you have this knowledge, the knowledge of good and evil, people want to do evil, but it doesn't really make much sense if, if all you know, you know that that's, that's just the sun. I wanted to do good. I wanted to be a good portal. You know, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Must be a bad witch. <laughs> I don't know. Because this is painful. This will take you to the end of your wits. And you don't have them anymore. <laughs> so let's get back here to the Jewish. Uh, you can have this, this sort of strange dialogue, but... But, um... <laughs> How long is it going to last before she turns around and says, well, you want this back? I don't know. I don't know. They thought, the Egyptians thought it was bad because, you know, that's merely, um, in trying to arrest someone. You know, I, I didn't want to arrest. I, like, I can feel the skin on my my skin right now, and smoke on my, these are you lock. Don't you want to go that way? So you can connect this stuff in your eyes, right there, uh, the Yule log, to the, the fire. <laughs> the fire is, is in the sky. So I can remember where these are. You know, if I had a time machine, then, then I wouldn't need a Yule log. But we can go to South Carolina right now. We can go to Lake Tahoe right now. Way up there, Lake Tahoe. Everything right here is Lake Tahoe. We can go to South Carolina right now. Everything right here is South Carolina. Okay, we can go back in time to uh, uh, Julian's house and play on his trampoline because he's Greek, you know, I kind of liked what he had to say. You know, the Greek, he's a Greek man. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can learn something from him. But he has his trampoline and I was looking up on him. Why don't you go there right now? <laughs> we can go there right now. Okay, so I can think of three different places that I can go right now with my Yule. <laughs> Three different places. Somebody heard these prayers. 
you know what I mean? All right, so listen, <coughs> um, if I had to train somebody how to do this, what would I do? Wait for the thunder and listen. Okay, so if you ever tried to wait for a thunderstorm, you can't really, you know, um, you'd be waiting for weeks, you'd be waiting for days, you could be writing today's instructions, yesterday's instructions, the day before yesterday's the day before that, you get the idea. Um, napped. Napped. So instead of um, taking two before you go to bed, we're going to do it in the middle of the day. But it's important that you realize where we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> well, I hope we have a chance to do it again in my lifetime. But anyway, I hope that that I can find a way to get out of here as fast as I can um, while using a, one of these, but it's in the sky. It's in the sky. It's like a big one of them. But um, you want to focus your attention. You want to focus this, but I want to be uh, an amethyst. I want to be a, a pyrite. I want to be a moonstone. But no, no, I'm a thundercloud. You know, I have two or three different um, places in a thundercloud. You're going to have to go inside of a thundercloud. This is very hard to understand. I'm very sorry, but Neptune. Neptune is fantastic. Neptune is. <laughs> oh my. Mars, okay? Mars is fantastic. When is that ever going to happen? That you'll just be walking along and it is. Are you, are you going to be petrified or or what? It's the same idea. Except Neptune is under the water. <laughs> Look under the water. Or a moderately large size uh, Neptune. But how are we going to get that? Well, let's find out. <laughs> you know, Jesus had a suggestion. Why don't you get the wrong information? Why don't you get the wrong information all day long? All day long, just, just, just nonsense. Hmm. <laughs> I said, well, it's interesting that you say that. I <laughs> you could do these things in an instant. I walked a long way. Do all that. Um, you know, I'm the son of God. Jesus Christ, the son of God. I'm, I'm not the son of God. Who is the son of God? I don't know. Think about it. S-U-N of God. Okay? He's going to come. And sometimes they come to you and they say, have you forgotten about this? Well, no, I haven't. Add it to the chart. I insist that you add it to the chart. And it's just beautiful. But what you discover with this is the wrong information. All day long, kid. The sun is coming down and it's weighing us down. Like a 20 ton weight. And, um,. Nothing you can do about it. So if there's nothing you can do about it, then he has the answer to the problem. Why don't you seek them out? <laughs> All right.
like I said. You know, you want to have something to eat, maybe. You know, so I'm talking to the camera. I'm, so I'm eating on the camera. What is telling me to say what I'm saying right now? Are those called memory? Do you understand memory? This has a supernatural effect. Like a like a springboard. <laughs> so again, there's another lovely, lovely analogy about a springboard. And that's enough Christians for today, but you're going to have to master the in a full demagoguery <coughs> of nonsense if you don't. <coughs> but unfortunately, it hurt. It hurt. So the question is, are you thick skin? What well, very likely. All right, you know, and then guess what? Furthermore, that's enough Jewish talk, too. You ought not to use their cross. You know, that I've weighed down. You ought not to do yeah, rosary prayers and so on. And so on and so on. There's not three places. There, there's a, a trampoline over there. There's a Lake Tahoe over there. Over there, just over, you know. Um, there's the playground in 1985. And since nobody's interested in, in hearing this, namely, uh, we're gonna. To fight this and fight this. And eventually you come up with okay, where is um, the menorah for, for menorah for Prince Harry's former girlfriend? Um, you see how this changed things? We're no longer weighed down by this. And they know people don't want to hear it because of God is terrible. <laughs> Isn't that that's, that's kind of ridiculous? Who it is it that's talking there? It's somebody you definitely don't want to hear. <laughs> you know, so you know, just politely close the gate because this is a professional person that's telling you this. You know, honestly. Honestly, did you write the DC bar? Did you uh, uh, suspend a doctor's license recently? You may have. You need to be extremely careful. All right, but you know, how do you know? How do I know that I'm worth uh, uh, $230,000 an hour? How do I know that? I don't know this for sure. I'm absolutely sure. I must know. I must be lying to you because I don't have $230,000. Nor would I ever be sure rather that I would make $230,000 in and out. <coughs> but it's good. It's a good question that you ask. Who is that? What are you saying? Why are you wasting people's time? It's no good. You can see how thick this is. Like, like this Jewish man is saying, um, yeah, you know, and his money is good, you know. 
and somehow he's done this for himself. I don't know if we're going to find <laughs> do that in New York City or not, but uh, I have no intention of going to New York City or lying about anything that has to do with <laughs> this. You need to master this. I'm getting very angry, you see. Like, I can you try something that really makes you angry, like, like, um, you don't know what you're talking about, and this is an absolute waste of time, and I'm, I think I'll just compile all these uh, videos and then say, okay, well, I'm, I'm finished here. Take a deep breath. And go back there. Go back to this place where someone's toasted you. Toasted you. One devil to another. <laughs> it may sound ridiculous, but the, the space between us will also be thick skin. The, the moon has played an important role as well. There are those three places I talked. Lake Top. I was in Lake Top. I was jumping up and down on the tramp. I was in 1985 on the playground. What are you doing over there? You are you, are you launching model rock? I completely lost my train of thought. That makes me angry. <laughs> Why don't you try that? one double to enough? Are you thick skin or not? <sighs> this is some heavy stuff to take. So if I lost my train of thought and I'm going to compile all these videos and then be done with it. What would you have to say about that? Absolutely nothing because you don't know where Lake Tahoe is. You don't know where the trampoline is. Yes, you do. It's right there. It's up the moon. So, in the combination of being thick skinned, when, when, when all of this comes to an end, I'm thick skinned and I'm using the moon. So when you when you combine the two and you say, well, okay, well, um, uh, Lake Tahoe, and then bring, di let's pretend I want to eat this. This is the moon. I want to eat this. So does Lake Tahoe. The moon is delicious. Let's have it for lunch. That's. That's the theory and, and, and for all intents and purposes. But you may get lost there. Um, where, where do we go now? Um, mm -hmm. <sighs> Prince Harry's uh, former uh, uh, girlfriend. He's married now, but so it really wouldn't be something you want to say to somebody who wants to have you for life. <laughs> so nobody gives a damn honestly I I like it you know I mean these kinds of things help me to, to go on go on and um you know I'm spying on somebody right now <laughs> that means we gotta get out of here you know I'm a Roman how did it get mixed up in this? Um, okay, where's the devil? The devil, the devil here. I heard the big uh, uh, boom outside, but it wasn't loud enough, you know, to, to really, really understand what was going on. But it is just loud enough to do this. Mm. 
Oh, it says oh. Don't tell anybody this, okay? Don't tell don't tell anybody this at all. But we wanna move this with Uranus. Move it with Uranus slowly. What was on TV that was so fascinating uh, three years ago? I don't remember what was on TV three years ago. And with that, we'll move on to the second part. All right, so look, look. I am not a soccer mom. And you better get your shit straightened out. <laughs> Oh, boy. I'm sick to straighten it. I'm cleaning the toilet, isn't it? <laughs> okay, three places. Lake Tahoe, my dirty fingernail, and what else? A trampoline. Let's go there right now. Okay. Trampoline, 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 trampoline. What do we have to do today? We have to escape this heavy weight. And they will never be able to do this. You know, so that really isn't what I wanted to say. And um, I did say it. It is what you said. That is what you said. So now I'm going to say something evil. You know, um, I don't have a problem with um, cats. I don't have a problem with horses. Um, but, you know, um, cats and horses all together mean absolutely nothing when you're looking for somebody who's guilty of this. Guilty. We want to prove that this person is guilty now, and that they're evil, and so on and so on. So, all this is difficult to realize, but um, now we need to complete the the. Um, what will allow us to escape this heavy, heavy weight. Because we have that tied to it, and then this is tied in as well. So there's two things are good so far. You know, we haven't seen the Iron Curtain yet. You ever heard of the Iron Curtain? Well, I, I don't want I really, really, really can't believe that this is a Jewish person and you can talk to them. And however, it turns out that people who didn't saw the iron. <laughs> and as you know, you know, politics are terrible. So let's move on. All right, for example, I didn't sew the iron curtain for one minute, but yet, there it is. Because I didn't tell you the entire story. You didn't tell me the whole story. You didn't tell me that you were trying to escape the goats that were in the barn with horses and cats. Because if you stay with the cat or you run over there next to the horse, maybe the goats will leave you alone and so on. Isn't that funny? And it just keeps on going. Unless. Wow, look at that. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Turn around and do. I don't want.
That is really blurry. That's the goat of Vena. Vena, 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 Okay. Now, we're going to add a twist to it. the birds <laughs> come on bird okay. <laughs> so that's what's gonna allow us to skate That much power into it will will dissolve the what's actually inside of the cup is now inside here. <laughs> well, you know that is it. Um, get your FOBs ready. That is seven days, seven days to create the planet Neptune. It's important that you follow through because we won't be able to see what's going on. This is very important to many different kinds of Roman occupation. Uh, uh huh. So that's me talking about Rome. Um. What's going to happen here when I tell you you're going to have to get on the boat? How do we get back on the um, with the Greek? This is completely Greek. So now there was seven days. Now I have twelve. Twelve. That should be good enough. So we're going to go there tomorrow. And we're going to get this finished because when you're talking about, you know, um, royal scandal, um, he, he, they always complain about the media. It has nothing to do with the media. Um, and when you see somebody who looks very strange and he's just standing there and so on and so on. We're going to go to the beach tomorrow. <laughs> we. Alright, well, we don't have to go to the beach. That's plenty of fish. <laughs> okay, so. This. What is this? Again, one more time. See how heavy this is? It's, it's sitting there like that. And sometimes it doesn't work out so well. It doesn't work out so well. You're going to express some kind of uh, femininity, but it's, you're still not going to be able to see. It's, it's here. For a time, and gone away. Is there any truth to that statement of being here and there at the same time? Absolutely not. This is extremely hard to understand. The sun is that heavy, and it's there. And uh, sometimes it doesn't work out. Are you a feminine person or a masculine person? Do you, do you use your entire uh, force and strength? Um, right now, I'm not connected to Neptune. I'm connected to Uranus. Because I can't talk anymore. I can't talk anymore. 
Because you're a baby. You're a baby. <sighs> Just take a deep breath. I've seen everything there is to see. I know what's going on, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to grow some corn. But you're a baby. Corn. <laughs> All right, so here's the important part of this entire thing. Sometimes that doesn't work out, but, but that worked out. That worked out just fine. I mean, I mean, did, did this work out? Did, did that in there work? Did he work out? <laughs> dog, dog, dog. Sometimes you can use the B, you know, for the ride. You know, where is his eyes? The eyes were right there. They got bigger, the big, 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 huge. Okay, yeah. Uh, there's one more thing. That. That worked out. You're a baby. <laughs> a baby. You know something? I mean, did, did, did this work? There? No. No, it did. No, it did. This did. And this. And this. Okay, okay, so when the sun sets, that's what's gonna happen to you. And it's terrifying to me. <laughs> you have to start this whole thing over again. You know, uh, that's, a, that's a piece of bark, it's tangible, it's real. But what if it was just floating there? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> it's, like, it's like this. If I could explain it, I would. Look. See how there's line there? The, it's a... Uh, why would somebody waste their time doing it? Why would somebody waste all of this time here on Earth doing this if they knew that you're a baby? So, anyways, when that comes down, when it comes down, it'll make a noise. And here we go. <laughs> right at the horizon. Well, what if you try it over the ocean? Over the ocean, it comes down and it's going to make a noise. Over the horizon. Over the horizon, it's going to make a noise. <laughs> Alright, so look, this, this is how big Neptune is. statue there and it's just under the water just under the water that's going to take some time because <laughs> you know this could be in outer space somewhere in outer space somewhere is the But we know that when this comes down over the horizon, that's all the time you have. I mean, you better run. Just run to your house and make sure that you get inside.
You know, that's okay. It's okay. It's in Chinese, too. It's in Chinese. It's, uh, run. Just run, start running. Pretend like you're Chinese. Just, can you pretend like you're Chinese and run? Like, just... No, that's... That's not easy. Where? <laughs> right there. That's a, a emperor. <laughs> he knows that you're a babe and don't try to fool anyone. I'm all powerful. I know everything. <laughs> no, no. You're a <laughs> Got some corn over there. It looks pretty good. You know, I can just stand here and ride a metro. I want that. But what is What is that? You better run and find hell. Fast as you can, because when the sun comes down, there's things out there that want to have you for lunch. So if you're a baby, why would you expect the baby to make the change for you? Why would you expect this? Um, sexual intercourse with a baby or an infant. So there's only so far you can go if you are. A bit, but an in probably likely refers to uh, the female uh, has a semen there to stay away from the semen. You know, I mean, that's a pretty broad statement. Why would you? Back the baby to make this change. <laughs> you know, um, you have to be healthy. You have to be good financial standing. Um, um, and the different ways to plan this, but, um, you know, you, there's a dick there, it's just, some people would go so far to say that there's a dick of, the, can we go and ride the dick, you know, homosexual in the, um, ride the dick. You know, I mean, maybe, maybe it's not being clear that, that the penis is very sensitive, you know, but there's a dick, but there's a baby. I mean, um, I've been successful at, um, removing the penis from the vagina or the anal portion of the rum. So, are you starting to understand what I'm saying? You're a baby. I don't want to discuss any of them, but you're going to. <laughs> so make no mistake, I would start, I would try to run away. Let's run away. No, I would be a disappointment, you see? I would be, a, I'd be lying to you if I said, that for one minute that 
that if I can't get in the back seat of the Cadillac and the Mercedes and, and do what I want to do, media, uh, and, and go inside of my house and, and so on, you know, I'd, I'd be a disappointment to you, but not to the side. You better run. <laughs> you know, run the Chinese fire. So, you know, basically, whatever that has to do with, you're going to get caught. And that's not why, it's because of the, the man is a, a, a sensitive person. Not only is his penis sensitive, but it's more so that uh, after I've, I want to come, then the man says, uh, why have I done, gone and done all of this work? You know, with my wife and my spouse, and uh, you know, we're not gay. You know, um, 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 that's a bit different. Um, but nevertheless, um, you know, here I am, and I don't understand what's going on. Like, like a woman would understand what was going on. So you're going to get tied up with this for some time. The baby. So if you want to make good animal friends, they think the same way. They risk. Um, I, I don't like that. I, I don't like... No, no. It, it won't work. It won't just... Yeah, what do you... <laughs> How about, uh... They're, go they're coming to steal all of my things, and... And, uh, they're, they're having children out of... Um, side of being married to one another. No, no. No, that's it. That's it. You're a baby. <laughs> you know, don't laugh about it either. I don't know. Mm. How about uh, a beautiful woman having sex with a retard? Um, what happened to the man? The penis is very sensitive, you know. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So let's just move here slowly. <laughs> you know, it, it, and here's what the other males have so far about that. Kill him right now. <laughs> That's all there. Kill him. What is he talking about? Is he talking about uh, animal mating and the mating to a s story or the, the male peacock? And... No, no, no. Then shut the door. Like the, there's a black spot there. And it's called a siren. You, Yell at him as loud as he can. Get the hell out of my way, or you're gonna have a serious problem. And it doesn't have to do with um, uh, anything else. Like this, this, this was spirit. This is trespassing. You know? No, 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 baby. <sighs> So you may want to listen to somebody who says, no, don't curse at people. Don't use that sort of language. So honestly, 
What are your chances of mating with other animals like that? They're big pair of balls. Oh, yeah. You know, um, this, this was good. This was, this wasn't bad. You want to see something bad, I'll show you something bad. I want a piece of that too. Mm. So how do you get both of them together? Well, Pluto. Pluto. Pluto has a wife. Pluto. But you know, um, things could never get that bad. Because you may have an encounter with the royalty. Remember, I, months ago, I, or years ago, rather, and I'd gone inside of the dream, and I saw horses there. And then, that's a clue to get out of there now. So, although a royalty encounters are rare, they do happen. <laughs> You know, so I, I also, I have to go, you know. That wouldn't be fair, would it? You know, to hit the gas. Uh, go up into the thundercloud. Uh, there's one over there, there's one over there, there's a map over there. There's a pretty good one over there. If you can hit the gas on this. The marches will fall. And if you catch that one, like I am right now, there's one over the ocean or the, at the pier, over the ocean. Like I was saying, the sun was coming down. And over the ocean, at the pier, is one of these thunder clouds. If they were already there and you're taking a trip, you know, to go and see them because they haven't seen you, they have, they haven't seen you, you know, Twee Ho. Do you know who Twee Ho is? <laughs> it's great. You know, you know they, they have a war and China and India are at war. Some time because of that. That doesn't make sense. I'm from Korea. Why don't you show them some hot peppers? Oh, oh my. So, hit the gas and go back up into the thunder. Now, this, this is critical. Why would you want to hit the gas inside of a thunder car? Because your head is so big. No. How about, would Mr. and Mrs. Windswept Hair please report to the promenade? Absolutely not. Yahshua. Yahshua. Wow. So this goes all the way back to the very first video that I was working on. Although Neptune doesn't particularly like to discuss these matters because that would be Venus conjunct Neptune. Venus square Neptune. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? It means that I went up inside of a thunder cloud and uh, I'm casually watching what's going on there. If, if you're able to, uh, can you follow what's going on? Can you follow what's going on there with a reasonable assurance that uh, the outcome will be a positive. 
or will they start skipping the stones or in a public place? Since they're not here, since they're not paying attention, get a load of this. Alright? Is the devil is there. The devil is take a piece of the devil that you know that you, you know I don't like people poke. I don't like touching other people. I don't like touching certain things because it it sickens me. Take pull that down and put it there. Now you have to um Make sure that you have the right concoction. And why? Why, why would you wa seriously want to listen to the skipping stone? Why would you um, put that much faith in, in what you're doing without getting in trouble? Like some kind of trouble. Because what I'm about to tell you is absolutely fascinating. Don't lose your rest. You are there. This is mine. This is my rest. You hear the stone? This is my <laughs> There ain't no rest for the wicked. I'm like this all the time. That's just a Venus. The planet Venus has uh, run out of fuel. And it causes this condition. I don't have any more of anything to power what they're involved in there. Nothing. They go up in the thunder cloud and hit the gas. You know, until you really understand what's going on. So, so those are votive candles. So, how can I go back? To the church if I have a trampoline if I have Lake Tahoe if I have <laughs> Julian's backyard Julian's backyard Lake Tahoe okay the church. I want to go back to the Catholic church. You know, because I've obviously spent a lot of time inside of the thunderstorm enough to know what's going to happen to the entire church. You're about to be struck from the civil list for Judaism. I've got it. I've got it. Try it again. Oh my god. Guess who was inside the church? I don't know who's outside. Venus is outside. Right now. Well, how did you do I did it like this. Don't move any of these fingers. Don't take any fingerprints. Don't move your neck unless you, you can hear what's going on with Venus. You know, uh, don't adjust your hair without a little help there. See? Did I make an adjustment? No. That was wrong right there. Right here, right here. Okay. 
Don't move unless Venus tells you to. It's much easier that way. Venus is outside. We've left the church 1,500 miles behind us. How is this possible? Don't move up another finger. Don't make any strange facial gestures with her help. So what I'm saying is, is you know, this has troubled the Romans to the point where they they said that, you know, um, I'm no longer a Roman citizen. But you can't shake them from this, this Neptune. Like that, that God over there, the, a picture of, of a, a, a tiny little toy soldier. It was there for about three seconds and then vanished. That is mine and I'm not giving it up. And they're still there. Roman citizen. I want to be a citizen of Rome. I don't understand what's going on. Venus. 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 That's not exactly Venus, is it? It's Neptune. So, I, I don't want to lose my rest. So what are we going to do? Let's go rest. Okay, so that's kind of hard to do, but be civil. So, what we want to do there is so this illustration here. This is um, Neptune right here. Neptune. Well, we can get one from here at the sand fall. What do we want to get? We want to get our rest. This is our rest. So don't lose it. Now, this is the difficult part. The concept of having a, a cup is a a very new idea because you can see the location of Venus is there now. Want to lift the cup? Why do we want to do that? So it changes this, but sometimes you can't do that. So a dragon, we need a dragon. It's it's dirty and, and messed up. I have a dragon here, I'll just drop it. Did you hear that? <laughs> That's basically from outer space. So the new location of Venus is there. Okay. This is Judaism. But this, okay, slow down. What is this in here? Why can't I touch anything else but Venus? That's his name. That's his name. You know, so you, you would actually turn into Anubis. If you'd gone to sleep and you want to read the hieroglyph, then you'd have to turn into Anubis, wouldn't you? Well, how do you do that? So anyways, if the sun doesn't come over that ridge in about another hour we've been in a lot of trouble because I don't want to sell my junk yet
when it happens, it happens. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. It's The picture is there, but don't fall any further down from it. It'll end up with something like that. That's where you're sleeping. So we're waiting for the sun. Obviously, why I moved to Florida. <laughs> you know, so uh, you might have to put on a leather jacket, and there's. Do not get in the shower. No hot water. No shower. No cold shower. Only a hot salt bath. Will cure your ills at this point. See how I'm, I'm still here on Venus, but um, there's a, a fierce contender there unless we had help from a dragon. All right, one more time. I took a flight from LAX, you know, to Hawaii, and I have jet lag. That's not jet lag. Is it? Or is it? It's jet lag. It's call, actually called jet lag. LAX to Hawaii, and you have jet lag, okay? So let me explain. You went to sleep there. You don't live in Hawaii. So you slept in Hawaii. What else did you do? What else is Venus doing right now? Sleeping. Okay, so the next part is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult because you're not going to believe it. It's true. Instead of looking for my grove of trees, you know, where the coffee is, the coffee is brewing, that's fine, you know, I, it's not on right now, because, you know, I can't really, um, think clearly, there's something wrong with your thinking, you know, obvious, because, uh, you know, I got a big nose, and, and uh, <laughs> put a cute little statue over there, and say, okay, uh, yeah, I'll, or I'll actually go up into the thundercloud. That's a bit better idea, you know. I don't know what's going on, but I know what's going on here. Okay, so I'm drunk, and I'm going to pass out in the bathroom. I'm drunk, and I'm going to pass out in the bathroom, and I can throw up a bit. Well, I've been sleeping for six or seven hours or so, and uh, right up there on the ceiling is a marker point. Throw it right up there. Dot sun, dot just anything. Put the dream, you were, if you were dreaming, you can put it up there on the ceiling. So from the marker point, you're not going to believe. <laughs> Think about a place where you just came from. And it's vivid as all get out. You know, it's very real and tangible. Like, you know where this place is. You know, so I'd be lying to you if I said that this wasn't cookie. But guess who it belongs to? There's a contingency there for the Kingdom of Africa. So the color of my skin was I'm going fishing, and that's all. And the man standing next next to me was this color. I'm fishing. <laughs> let, let there be no mistake about it. 
you know, a contingency for royal royalty. And this causes a lot of problems. Sir Neptune is going to solve them. I'm a Roman citizen, but the, this is a very old stuff. You know, but I'm from Africa, and I'm just keep right on going. Just keep right on going. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. So, you get, um, okay, okay, you need to clean up, you know, uh, this is kooky, um, uh, where are your faculties, uh, you're not in, you're out of control, uh, you know, um, you don't have any control over yourself, um, very difficult situation. All right, so obviously, uh, I'm not going to permit this to happen anymore. You know, you, you're, there's a thin red line in, uh, he doesn't have a mustache or a white shirt or anything like that at all. He was here just a moment ago. You know, of course, right, right. But here's the amazing part. We're going to see what it, I'm going to do this right now, and I'm going to see what it says. So take the, the first symbol of the feather and put it on the ceiling. Use the feather to pull the ceiling down, the feather. All right, it says there was a window there. Now it's turning into a door, but it has to be something that you recognize. Okay, there's a ladder, there's a square and a little, there's a square and a little rip. So, you know, so this is kind of hard to do. Okay, square, circle. Pull the squared, pull the two dots with the square in the circle. I mean, the square in the little wavy one. <coughs> it looks like the door has been destroyed to the hallway. At the end of the hallway is a lousy looking door that's shut in Louisiana. We're in Louisiana. <laughs> so, a ladder which was a construction site is in the window, you know, so you can throw the junk out. And the end of a hallway in Louisiana. So the final symbol is a chicken, a little chicken. So one more time, one more time from up there. Those, that one place is very important when you wake up in the morning. It's just, so now I'll try the chicken. From there. From that same place, that's an, it's a new place where you just woke up. One more time. It looks like a, a landscape, and my furniture is walking out the door. I see the front door of my old apartment, and it's turning into junk. No junk. Come on. They're playing a game. They're playing a game in the Job Corps recreation area. 
I mean, I don't even remember that at all. <laughs> One more symbol. The dog on top. Necropole. A dog on top of a necropole. Already? Somewhere I was walking over there, the, it looks very dangerous, perilous, there's a window where I went to see the castle, there's a jail, <laughs> it looks like a cavern, I, at the beginning of the Ray Cavern, before you go down there, there's a line in it right there, okay, so, where were the, the four of them? The four would be the ladder at the construction site. Number two was, <sighs> I don't remember what it is. You have to get a pen and write them down because I don't remember. It's just, it's fleeting. But chances, chances are if it's very vivid like that, you know, you would remember that you were in the job court gaming area with some tables where you can play games and stuff like that in the recreation area. No spades. But, um, is in the beginning to Lorraine Cavern before you go into the cavern. You got your ticket. So what do all of this mean? I forgot what the second one was. So you have to write it down. Now, now I'll take all four of them. Because I can't really remember all four of them. But you're going to have to hold all four of them at once. And remember what they are. So. There is a ladder. There is a hallway, a lousy hall, job core gaming, and the entrance to the rake. And put it way the hell up there with the corn. <laughs> Did you hear what that sounds like? It sounds like, hey, hey, what are you doing? All right, it's gonna be up. <laughs> I'm an auto cigarette. You know, so we gotta go hunting, man. Stand up there on the pier with the, these huge goddamn uh, tuna fish that I caught. On the pier. <laughs> so, you know, those symbols are holy symbols. Holy Venus symbols. But there's... Wow. Um, let's get out of here. That is so cool. Wow. All right. <coughs> um, let's just go through this one more time. <laughs> One day, okay, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days, ten days, eleven days, twelve days, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 23, 24, 20, 25, 26, 
So 26 days, nearly a month to do this. And if you go through all the symbols, eventually we'll have a map to. And it'll be, uh, you know, under the water there, there's a symbol there. Wow. Wow, well, hello. Oysters, me. Where are you in? But, uh, uh, once in a lifetime chance. Here comes the new card, baby. So you can see the storm there. And we're waiting for a ride. So this is less than uh, catching fire in the retard bed. Probably because it's light. Okay, right. <laughs> it says, it says, where's your Easter basket? Did you put the trucks? And I tell it. Hello fast. Let's go. Okay. It left a mark of a there's a driver's lounge. This is gonna be really serious. Look at this. So the driver's lounge is over this. We're gonna have to deal with this from the driver's lounge. So uh, there it is, up to the southwest against the wind that was coming in. So that's what you could do against the hail still. It doesn't look like they're gonna make. I mean, just wind barrier. <laughs> you hold the wind barrier. Now this one's pretty quiet so far. A little bit of a a whole lot of I don't know. Hell two days have passed. About two days have passed since the storm was here. And uh I have an idea. <laughs> you hit the gas in the storm cloud, right? And put on the sun. Or connect to the sun inside of a storm cloud. Now I'm laying here next to this dirt. <laughs> oh, hello, my <Marita. laughs> But the birds are laying over there saying that, well, I still don't understand what happened either, and it's been almost two days now. Why is that? Put, hit the gas one more time and put it up there. <laughs> it 
Here comes an airplane. Man. They'll hold it there. Well, I know exactly where that is now. I know exactly where that is. Well, what does that have to do with net? A whole lot. But, uh, Randy Sunbather's fingerprint. So you just take the little finger off of there and put it up in the air. I'm not kidding. Nep Neptune would, would, would be the, the, the price that I paid in totality. So, let me show you what I'm talking about again. I'm talking about this, that, this, that, this, 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 that, this, this. Don't move unless you are holding it in the sky. It was obviously going to move parts that we don't have. Like, I don't have mandibles growing out of my face. Do you? Native American. <laughs> Look, African tomato. Let me run. See what that is. <laughs> Supposedly, if you wait here long enough, it's going to grow suddenly. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of funny. You, maybe the birds will start singing again once they hear. You know, I start moving my mouth. Be careful of your mouth because you may lose it. My goodness. Because of the planet Venus. The planet Venus from the thundercloud. Right there. <sighs> right. Yeah, oh. yeah, right. What about, uh, you're a fit, and uh, today you have nothing else to do but fire the cat. <laughs> okay, so what does this picture look like to you according to this Venus? He's got a hold of his ear there, I think. And the problem is with. Um, what is it there? You're a baby. <laughs> Old people need a special care sometimes. But you know. So what about uh, this one? Some picture of Princess Camilla. So what have you done with my son? I don't know. I use uh, Jai Jai. Yeah, yeah. She says, I see. <laughs> and here, this woman is also married in the royal. Um, but her husband is. Um, Signing well in the office, you know. <laughs> okay, all right, another example of it. Uh, this is the Princess Roy. I know. Uh, uh, she says, Are you a Roman spy? You know, I won't see when I can spy. No, 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 no. Oh. It looks like I'm busy doing my documentary. Make well with the television, please. No. We can't afford the, uh, what is it that you said they are? It's the royalty, um, brand. Like, you don't get a royal brand today. 
because uh, of what reason? Um, this is not Prince Philip. This is Prince William. He's not uh, listening very well. <laughs> There is the, the Duke and the Armin. Um, um, this is down King George, King, oh, King Charles, and uh, this is a fisherman. What's a fisherman look? You see the. He's a president. Look at the president. <laughs> okay, so this is um, King Charles sitting here. You know, is that President Bush? President Bush. Yeah. Oh, the Smithsonian. I work at the Smithsonian, they have a red carpet. I don't even know if it's probably like that. <laughs> so without any too much detail into the carpet, you know, the carpet. Um, why would we want to fire the cannon today? Um, King George has brought the mail, and we point, point, and it makes it snap it off, right? <coughs> you take the snapping noise home, and then pair it with Jupiter. Jupiter was there. So what was the last symbol that Ju the planet Jupiter gave you? To think very carefully about it. And the mere thought of it explodes inside your house because you've been walking all over town today. Well, the procedure is as follows. That, that explodes, okay? Just the mere thought of that, okay? Then what's behind these guys right now? A thunder. Well, that might change things, I don't know, but, you know, uh, do you really want to uh, sit this through, you know, be much easier to fire off a cannon, wouldn't it? Um, not necessarily much easier, but I'm a little bit more livable. So, um, pair Jupiter with the snap, big explosion that you just heard. Pair Jupiter with, with that one. Okay, it kind of melts your head, just inside of your head, like that, okay? Now, with the planet Saturn, pull it down from the planet Saturn. Pull the part inside of your face from the planet Saturn, and that'll give you a symbol. And that symbol will actually show you where you are. So, for example, you look up here in the light, and uh, it's uh, showing you, you know, what, what uh, some kind of thing that you can recognize, like laying flat on the surface. So for example, on the surface of the mirror, you may see uh, something that you recognize. Right there, see that? I don't care what that is because... <coughs> and we're back in the thunder cloud. You see? You kind of see what I'm saying. This means something. Now, there's the heart. Here's how to fire the cannon. 
you have to get on back on the ground. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so you picked the two spots there, you know? And uh, flip this camera around like this. Two spots there. As soon as, as soon as you wake up, you know, the plane, the plane, it's very important that you get on the plane, you know. <coughs> and what that is, is you're dreaming and dreaming. This is the, 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 the most powerful way to connect to the dream world that you see now in honey. <laughs> is pull back down. Except this time, the one that you saw on the mirror. Okay, so the one on the mirror, you pulled the one on the mirror to the one on the ceiling that was done obviously sometimes in the morning, you know, in the morning. This is now, that was when you just woke up. Take this from there. <laughs> and it makes something spectacular that you don't, you can't remember and you don't understand at all, you know. <laughs> So, uh, whatever is going on there made a picture, a vivid picture of something that you can remember and you know what it is that you're looking at, don't you? So, fire. <laughs> you know, put, put it up there. So also sometimes when you do that, it, there's a thumb. <laughs> There's a thundering. I don't want anyone to steal my thunder. So this is brown. <laughs> but that's what we want to grab on. You know? We want to stay with the thunder cloud for now. But you may also want to fire the cannon. And what that does is point A to point B to C to A to D to F. You see what I'm saying? This is the combination of many, many different people in reverse the role for a moment. In Fantasy Island, you're just a jerk off, and that's it. That's Venus. Well, Venus, you understand? There's nothing else there, but you're just a jerk off. And they all turn into Barking dogs. <laughs> Venus again. So you need to be careful. Okay. The only person standing there right now is Venus. You realize what I'm saying? Way over at the, Pluto is way over at the construction site. You can check, connect to him and jerk on, you know. Um, the thundercloud is in the driver's lounge there. Eh? Okay, we get the Venus come from the thundercloud. She's up here, way up, way up there, right there. We can... So ap after this happened on Fantasy Island. Are you still a jerk? <laughs> or are you listening to what is going on? What if, what if you're a jerk off and you listen to what? That's very bad. Just listen very hard and try to understand what may be going on there. Because I don't know. <laughs> the, the only person there is 
a troublesome uh, pedantic. <laughs> Alright, I got nothing against that. But here's where the fun is, you know, is I just told you that and this is what this person has said. <laughs> it's it may be cheese cheese that's cheese right he has something very negative to say about pretty much all of this all of it so if you meet jesus christ along the way you know um He's come what he's come there to do. The son of man. That's the son of man. His original purpose was X, Y, Z. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You should pull your pants up. Man. You know, or you get these fanciful ideas about psychochromatic and, and uh, idiot <laughs> That's even a word. It's, it's hilarious. The, the, the stone starts to talk. You know, but he's talking, he's talking right there. You see the tree there? That, that white area there? That belongs to the tree, but, you know, it's fair game. What? what it means fair game. And what else is going on there? <laughs> all right, all right, well, it's, it's not over yet. It's not over yet, you know? This is a creepy following associated with it. You know, I have a civil tongue. You know, I'm a dirty Irishman. There's nothing I can do about it. Look at him over there, you know? Okay, all right. Alright, I'm seeing him now. Okay. You are who you are. Alright. But it's not over yet. <clears throat> Keep a civil tongue in your head. Don't discuss any of this. And whoever is doing that is, you know, obviously a little loopy, you know. Because they're not doing something right. I'll tell you what it is. The stone. I'm going to cry. You need. You have to master the master. Remember, um, you may think that it, it repeats over and over and over. Well, it does. Sometimes the stones are important, more important than what you're doing. That's crazy, you know. You gotta find a picture of the devil. Like a, no, 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 like some, some terrible thing. I keep touching my nose, you know, keep touching my, you know, and there's something on my fingers, you know, and, and, and they don't understand what it is. You know, you kind of in contact with the Venus man. The Venus man. I don't want to talk. That's perfect. Well, look, listen. Here's why it's perfect. We're, we're dating, and we go out, and we have something to eat. And, and she has a beautiful dress. But she didn't tell you that if you smell a, a Venus man trap. So I took matters into my own hand. I have a... Um, Amethyst, here, yeah. amethyst, and I'm gonna put them in here. Put them in here, and you and you find the, the thing that you want from the devil. The devil, and you keep crushing it and crushing it and crushing it and crushing it. You gotta put keep your hand on it. You know, um, and uh, what you have to do is. 
throw the spot over and it makes a little blip and you have to read so this is deadly serious and you know something I've had enough so you're gonna have to use this every single time it's it's something's gone wrong and I can't count the fingers on my hand anymore you know no it's as simple as this are you eating but you know but if you want to continue, you know, boy, oh, there's Romans, I tell you what, no. So, what did you have for lunch today? Yeah. Um, it runs out of gas. I mean, you keep doing this, you keep connecting to it, it runs out of gas. And when it runs out of gas, it, it'll tell you something funny. Here's the stone that I want you to understand. What? <laughs> so you can read the ones that are following, the following stone. Now you can read, somebody speaking out of turn, you can read the following stone. Unbelief. So whoever was responsible for that is going to come to pick them up. It could be anybody, you know, anybody. Let's put the checker up there like that and get out of here. <laughs> so, so the problem is, you know, how can you uh, substantiate any of these claims is now absolutely ludicrous. You know why? The moon there, you have to watch the moon. Watch the moon. So you pull one over to those moons down again today. <sighs> okay, it looks like um, a giraffe in a, in a, a blow up pool and put water in. Wait a minute, how about while I'm hurling all these stones at you, I could carry that one. And you know what? One thing, you know. You can't be helped. She's a liar. What do you think about that, honestly? Honestly, well, I was just not a liar, but she kept those things for herself and absconded. So when I say you can't be helped, um, I mean, sometimes you can hear them talk. Do you? Venus talking. And you remember seeing the symbol, you know, yin and yang. It says that there's a black part and there's a white part. Okay, well, turn that black right now. That whole area black. Okay, what do you see there, you know? Do, 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 out. <laughs> a rusted part of whatever. So you just hold on to that rusted part of. And before it changes into a mandible, we need to recover some of these stones. How do you do? Well, you can't be helped. So we're going to go to the church and we're going to carry our cross because we know who's responsible for doing this. You have to bring it down so it makes a snapping noise, right? So it made a noise over there. I'm going to carry my cross. This is the planet Venus. And you cannot be helped. So this is necessary to recover these stones. And, uh, you know, keep keep in mind, you know, I will permit you to stand here. But otherwise, you know, there's severe consequences. I will permit you to stand here by the rest of the little thing you saw. Permit you to stand. So, yeah, not your friend. Not you. 
and um, they just go on and on and on. They're terrible, you know. They're sorry. We should get to know one another, really. I mean, we're stuck here in this life, and you're not getting out. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to okay, let, let's, let's just examine this for a moment. Why is this practical? I want to ride my KX125 and get stoned. Okay, what is the reply to a statement like? I want to ride my KX125, smoke marijuana. <laughs> Uh, are these your ambitions in life? Okay, very, very seriously, guys. Are these some of your ambitions in life? You need to approach this very cautiously. I am taking this from you, and I am leaving. Okay, so listen to me, listen to me very carefully. <clears throat> you can't be helped. Who else can't be helped? That's Jesus Christ right there. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> let's just examine this very quickly. We need to go to the beach and consult Nept. How, how about this? How about this? You can be helped. Why don't you sit in the loo with this thing and you can have whatever's in the toilet after you decide what's going on with the Lord portion of your stomach. Going on with the lower portion of your stomach to stone some spoken. Do you see how important Neptune is to this equation that I'm trying to formulate inside of the room of uh, Mary Bush? The <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that horrible? Isn't that a horrible thing? Horrible thing to say. You can't be helped. Well, you celebrated the Eucharist. I don't know how many times, and they don't understand. Here, here's a wafer, <laughs> chips and crackers. No, no. What? We're going to the sand hay. We don't have time for chips and crackers. Okay. Okay, one more thing. You can't be helped. <laughs> I'm devastated. Eventually, what I'm saying is that the stones come after you and say, tell you. The same sort of story, you know, um, <clears throat> she's, Venus is a liar. She's a liar. <laughs> well, I don't think so, not necessarily. You know, why don't you have a look at one of those Trapper Keeper notebooks, one more. Why don't you have a, a, a good look at one of those, um, <laughs> Mead um, notebook it has paper in it. Just have a good look at it one more time. <laughs> Welcome to a place where evil lives and evil rules. So you have to flip this upside down. Okay, well, the sun hasn't come out yet, you know. Um, 
No, the moon is over there. This is, this is kind of green, you know. They call it green back. It's extremely difficult to do. Okay, just one more time, you know. Um, in this black area is a tiny little bottle, and it's sitting, and his voice is talking. Well, this is not your responsibility to understand how to deal with yourself. Um, this is imper impermissible. I will permit you to stand here as long as you have the thing. So I could return the screen black. I will permit you to stand here in front of me. If you have this. I don't care what the crackers are anymore. You know, it's, it's on my skin now. I, in other words, I don't understand what... What you may be um, discussing at the moment. Because uh, this is going on for hundreds of years. Where is your impactful infallibility? Why, why is there palpable and availability? <laughs> that, that's another devastating question. Because uh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. You ever cook something? You know, uh, did you eat today? I'd say that's better than problem. If he's the Pope, and that's what he does, he's, a, he's like a chef. You know, I wear it like a hat, and then I'll connect it to the moon. Cause this happened before. It's called emulation. Emul. Like I, I, I've uh, examined the shrimp bed, and uh, I caught some shrimp, and I caught some crabs, and they were t <laughs> delicious, devilishly delicious. But, you know, uh, who are you kidding? You know, I have to move on here, please. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's, it also may be intolerable if you don't have one of the little paths. Just an idea of who you're talking to. Um, I don't know that you want to even say that because you know, people have been struck by lightning, you know. Struck by lightning. And it's loud and it's horrible. And if you could hear this thing talk, you'd be mortified. The next ex explanation that I've come up with so far is that we've arrived here and I've been mortified. And proselytized, anesthetized, lobotomized. You see where all these ideas have come from over the ages. It's the ages speaking to you that's been struck by lightning. That is loud, and that is terrible, and I've forgotten who I was, and I don't know. I, I would be lucky to tell you my name in this Place where evil lives and evil rules and on and on. they're very green, you know. You, you know, you know. So, uh, in the midst of that, do you have anything else to wear? I wear a dragon, you know. Force the dragon like through my head just now. Okay, well, the space has been backed up to over. There's a space over there that's been. Okay, but I'm wearing this. Isn't that really expensive? Really expensive. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't. I 
don't know that, that you could add two and two. Even. I mean, idiots. Terrible idiots. Just ro roaming the streets. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> they bought this bicycle. And there's a certain color black. And when I look over the side of the ship. You bought the ship, and now he's riding a bicycle down the road. You know, it, it, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> wow, so, you know, it, our prospects for today aren't very good, are they? Let's put the dragon into the sky and see what he says. Dragon will serve as the planet Venus, where this empty space is. You see. Oh wow! Okay. It says, "Uh, wow, that is miles <laughs> where you." Are. Wow, so we're swimming with the fishes this morning. It's, it's, it's nowhere near where I just left. It's up this way. Okay, and then put the stone back in there. Got there. And let's just move on. Do you see how important Neptune may be at this point? So, anyways, uh, pick a spot. But I'd say it's more like Mount Sinai. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not going to cast a spell, but what I want to do is, is try to remember all of these things like, throughout the entire month. So, if you look there. Just, so, uh, to get the paper. So you can see, I stood here for some time reading this, all of these, and um, I'm at Pluto now, but um, there's, I'm staring at it, staring at it, staring at it, and it, the, the, uh, it appeared here. So, that's the... <laughs> Neptune.